Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Vicky, and it's time. It's that time for me to rant. I have not done a rant video in so long, and I'm usually not happy when I do these rant videos. I don't want to come on here and just be devastating to these companies and the bullshit in the gaming industry, but today I am feeling so damn good about this one because you just gotta ask yourself like what what we got four stories for the past few days the weekend gaming news the gaming news i didn't get to cover my morning news update because it was the weekend i was going out getting a little tipsy and having some fun with my friend seeing jack john wick 2 helping my friend start our own youtube channel um that's gonna be coming soon more information about that but besides that let's talk about these stories right here let's start off with the activision one about cutting jobs after they already made record profits. Now, instead of me explaining this, we're going to go down to the comments. We're going to skip over the, the, the freaking story right here. Go to the comments, go to upvotes, and we have to read the comments from the story because this guy just sums it up so well. Let's, let's read his beautiful, masterful comment at that. Hey guys, we got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we did really well and our profits are through the roof. Oh my, yes, everybody in the office is like, oh snap, we're getting the bonus. We're making money as a company. Activision Blizzard is doing so damn good. Oh wait, the bad news is you're fired. We know that doesn't make much sense to lay people off after such an awesome year, but you know, greed, money grubbing, and all that good stuff kind of makes things complicated. Anyways, saranara, and don't forget to pick up a copy of Skylanders on your way out for 10% off. <laughs> just our way of <laughs> just our way of saying thanks. And then the guys are saying, "Are you suggesting workers be treated like human beings instead of a commodity?" Oh, Activision, what like I think this is what happens when corporations just get too big sometimes or make too much money. They just start, maybe they just started hiring too many people and just to say, like, damn, we're making all this money, but we have all these extra employees. We hired all these people who don't need them. We could cut jobs, sell DLC, sell all this bullshit and make even more money. Next year, we'll, like, no, you know what I must have, this is the only thing I could think of. Either so many people, they made all the games and you're like, okay, we're not going to need as many people for 2017 into 2018 because we're already done with much of our major development, which companies like Activision are constantly making games every single year. So that doesn't kind of happen. The only thing I could have thought of is like, hmm, somebody in the board of media is like, man, we have all these new employees. We made all this record profit this year. How can we make sure that in case the games that we're about to come out that might not be big big hits, because we're not sure if Destiny 2 is going to be as a, a big a hit as Destiny 1 was, why don't we just lay off a bunch of people right now? That might just help out in case that those people, if we have less people to pay, less health insurance, a lot of less things to pay, so we might do better anyway, just having less employees, because employees cost money, you know, health insurance, all the membership fees, they have to pay for all the stuff for them. This was just, this was just, oh. Uh, stories like this just make me hate Activision. It's like, oh, God. but that comment, man, that comment just highlighted everything. Great work, Mobius, silent Mobius. Let's talk into another one from coming from GameStop. Um, GameStop randomly selects 1,000 people today to pre-order a Nintendo Switch. So, hey you, yes you, you just walking into GameStop today? Well, you little kid and mom with the kid. You could pre-order Nintendo Switch. Uh, we, we, we came here to buy um, an Xbox One game? Uh, no, 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 no. You are the slucky special contender to pre-order the Nintendo Switch. We're selecting you because you are so special. Think about that, guys. This is like one of the bullshitest marketing moves. Oh, I hate shit like this. This is just going to inundate. This makes it horrible for everybody. This, this is a situation where if you are a GameStop employee, this sucks for you. If you are a customer who is not in the store because you want a Nintendo Switch, this sucks for you. Because now there's going to be a bunch of people who probably want the Nintendo Switch who will just go to a GameStop and hang out there all day. Just hope that they're going to be the one out of the, the thousand people to get that freaking Nintendo Switch. You're wasting space in the store. You're probably wasting the freaking associate's time. The associate's got now got to sit there and watch you all day while they probably just want to sit back and relax. Now they got to be proper all the time. While their jobs are already more stressful, now there's going to be more customers in the store probably trading and stuff 
stuff just in case. Like, man, I probably should just trade this stuff in just in case I'm the one who gets selected. Because you know for a fact there's going to be those hardcore Nintendo fans who didn't get their pre-order who's like, oh yeah, this time I'm not missing out. I'm going to camp out in this GameStop all day. Like, this must suck for any GameStop associate. Like, must, this must be part of their circle of life bullshit. Like, oh, oh stuff like this is just so nauseous. Like, like, if you are one of those gamers who goes to GameStops and hangs out all day for this pre-order, just think to yourself, it's not worth it. Just just wait. Just get it somewhere. Don't encourage this type of practice, man. Like, and I, I would just, like, what if they don't pick you? What if they pick someone who's a random in the store and they don't want it? Like, it's just, why? Like, a thousand people? In the st- like, I understand if it was online, like, but why do they have to physically go into a store? And there's so many GameStop stores. Like, in, by me, there's like five GameStop stores. I don't even know how many GameStop stores is probably in this freaking, this is my state. So, with that being said, how many GameStops are in there in this state? How many GameStops are in, how many GameStops in, oh, uh-huh, in the U.S.? There are 6,614 GameStop stores in the United States. And only 1,000 of those stores are, <laughs> only 1,000 of the Nintendo Switch pre-orders are going to be given away. Oh, this is going to suck so much for associates. Like, just face palm type of deals like this. As a corporate level, this makes so much sense. Like, get people into the store, get them to hang out there. But this is just going to be horrible for the customers who want to come in there just want to buy games. Because now more customers are in there just waiting, wasting time in the way if you're coming in there to play a demo station that like you could try something they're gonna be wasting time. oh associates are gonna have like bullshit now let's talk about some more interesting kind of ish because it may not be bullshit it might come out good but you know video game movies take two is willing to license out their ips to make movies they're not gonna spend their own money so they're gonna be like yo if you want to come to me paramount and make a grand theft auto movie you can make it you take the license we take creative control and we make the movie now i'm gonna just start off by saying i hope a grand theft auto movie really doesn't happen like most of the times i'm usually okay by saying like yeah make a video game movie it's perfectly fine just do it do it but this is a type of thing a lot of the games that take two makes i'm like like the Grand Theft Autos, nah. The Mafia, there's lots of movies like Mafia. There's lots of movies like Grand Theft Auto. I mean, like if they want to go a little weirder, I mean, Aliens even. Ugh. Maybe we'll see a Borderlands movie, but even then, like even as the biggest of the Borderlands fan as I am, I actually don't really want Borderlands to be in like other media. Like I wouldn't want to watch a Borderlands TV show. I don't want to think that would make make it that good a TV show. I don't think Borderlands would make a good like anime or something like that. A like, comics, like maybe I see a little funny little comic every now and then, but I don't know, man. This just, just TV shows, the grand, like the things I'm thinking of, like from Take Two. Maybe I'm just not thinking big enough that. Mm. All I know, video game movies have not been that hot lately. I mean, the Assassin's Creed movie was okay. That's not good. That's not great. It was just okay. Not something you needed to see in theaters. Not something that it matters if you did see in theaters. It was a forgettable movie with some big plot issues, but the action in the past was good. I mean, I'm glad that we got to the point that the movies were okay, but I want to get past okay to be greatness. And fortunately, I think the fact that if it's a Grand Theft Auto movie or a Mafia movie, then it's just going to be one type of gangster movie or a heist movie, which those are just generally good anyways, and that's not going to take elements from the game. Let's move on from this shit. Let's talk about Steam. Steam is evolving, and Steam is getting rid of the green light program. Now I can finally rant, and because Valve himself basically come out and said, yeah, Greenlight was kind of trash. It was putting out some trash. And I'm just glad that all these years that I am sorry developers that have been sending me these Steam Greenlight keys that I don't even give away. Sometimes I keep forgetting that I get them in my email all the time to give away. That you guys are coming out there and self valve and saying like, you know what? This Greenlight shit has been just utter trash. So many people get accepted. It just all this crap comes on. They email YouTubers like me saying, "Oh, make a video about my game for just for promotion, get a free game." And the, because I'm just one of those YouTubers that doesn't care about getting a free game. Oh my God, this publisher gave me a free game! Wow, what kind of thing? I'm I'm just not that type of YouTuber that my mind just goes blown by getting a free code for a game that is unbelievable or really early look at a game because it's just like. 
if it's for Steam Greenlight, it's like usually it's gonna be a pretty underwhelming title. Just get your get, get your hype down. Or give me games to give away to my audience. I'm like, that's just the way I'm promoting your game at no gain for me. I'm just not a key give like ugh, I could give away so many keys, but just get rid of the damn Steam Green Line, make a better system. So when I go on Steam, all I want is when I go on Steam and look for VR games, I don't see all this freaking crap that's being shoveled onto Steam through green light on for VR games. I know this is very, very specific for me, but Oh, man, the other trash that some developers call them, well, call themselves developers through green lights getting on Steam for VR. It's unbelievable. Oh. So, yes, Valve, thank you for evolving the green light program by discontinuing it, making new rules, and making things better. I'm just going to applaud you for that. So, that's been my little weekend rant right there about the video game news that we saw over the last weekend because. Some of this shit is just like unbelievable. The Activision, oh, that comment. The comment was brilliant. And I like I like highlighting good comments. And this one was just so brilliant. Also, the reason I wanted to do this video this way too, as a quick test, my new green screen, which you guys provided me by donating and supporting the channel. So yes, guys, I have a big green screen right behind me. And that's what's making the video look the way it is. And right now I am using my new microphone with the sound booth. So my audio should sound a little bit more deeper and a little bit more crisp than usual. I'm going to be using this in the future as well when I do my news videos normally in the morning time. I'm going to be a little bit closer to the mic so everything should sound a lot clearer going on in the future when I do videos like let's plays or videos like this with the green screen on. Obviously the videos with my GoPro and other kind of cameras where the audio is coming from that is going to be a little bit separate and I'll try to work with that down the line. Anyways, Viki here with the Untitled Game Show. Let me know what you guys think about the quality of this video and do you want guys want to see these like weekend wrap up rants more often i don't rant enough but sometimes these stories in the gaming industry just go like oh what 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 happened here what was i want to be the fly on the wall of the activision board meeting like we make it money now nah, we gotta fire some people man we need to make more money health insurance costs too much damn money why later guys <laughs>